Hello everyone, this is Nick and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm doing a tutorial, which I've actually already done before. About a year ago I did a tutorial on how to do a paw print. And that's probably my most popular video, but um, it's quite outdated and the quality isn't great. So I thought I'd redo it for you all. So let's not waste any more time and get straight on with the video. Right, so this paw print is very easy to do. All you need to do is get a bit of scrap paper to start off with and just draw out your design. Now, I am doing a generic kind of dog paw print. However, you can do any type of animal footprint that you'd like. You can apply the same technique to any of them. So I'm just sketching out um, using a pencil on paper, just rough print paper. And then I'm numbering each piece to help me later on with lining them up and making sure they're in the right order. Now what you want to do is you want to start cutting out and these are going to act as your templates. Now when you're actually drawing out your design what you can do is go into Google and just Google the type of print, that poor print that you'd like and then just put silhouette at the back at, at the end of the words and what will happen is it will just come up with a black solid print and therefore you can just use them as your uh, references which I find are really helpful. So yeah, just want to cut out all of your pieces and however if you do not like using templates which is absolutely fine, you can just skip this step and move on to the next one. So yeah, I'll see you with the next step. Right, so the next step is you want to take a bit of scrapped cardboard and what you want to do is you just want to line up all your different templates and you just want to trace around them onto the cardboard. Now if you decided not to use a template then all you need to do is just draw out your design straight onto the cardboard and again I'm going to number them just because I find this helps for um, lining up later on on the kind of printing plate if you like. I'll explain more about it later on. Um, and you want to try and find some cardboard which is as flat as possible without really any texture because otherwise it's not going to relay too much too well on the paper when you print however if you want to do that as kind of a textured choice thing by all means go ahead but if you just like a clean solid print then try and find the smoothest cardboard you can Now once you've done and transferred all of your designs over, what you want to do is you want to cut out all these cardboard pieces. You want to be as accurate as you can because these are going to be the actual place where the ink goes on and prints, kind of like lino printing, so just be as accurate as you can. So as you can see, now what you want to do is you want to get another square bit of cardboard which is bigger than your design and you then just want to glue down all of the pieces onto this bit of cardboard. This is going to act as your stamp if you like. And once you've stuck that down just like this, this is an optional step, but I'm taking a bit of string, cutting it to about the same length as the cardboard piece, and I'm just going to tape it down. This is going to be a handle just to make it easier to lift up when you're printing, and it might and it will just help a bit. But like I said, this is optional, you do not have to do this, but I just find this helps a lot when I am personally printing. So now we've actually made our stamp. A bit like lino printing, what we're going to do is we're going to get some ink. I'm using block printing ink and I'm going to put it onto a little tray or some sort, anything that you can use and use a roller or whatever you can find really to use to spread out the ink. Now you want to get an even coatage on the actual ink brush, but not the ink brush, the roller rather. And you want to make the ink sound like Velcro before you roll the ink onto your if you'd like to learn more about this kind of technique and lino printing in particular then I actually have a video so I'll have a card pop up so you can go check that out. Now what you can do as you can see is you want to roll the ink onto your printing plate or your stamp but if the roller cannot get in all of the cracks and crevices what you can do is you can get a paintbrush, dip it in the ink and just make sure everything is evenly coated. This will provide a really nice print in the end. So 
so once you have your uh, your stamp fully inked this is the time to actually print so you want to get your bit of paper put the stamp face down and press down really hard you want to really make sure that there is good contact between the stamp and the paper once you're sure that's done you can then lift it off and there you go there is your print if like mine it was there's a few places where the ink didn't quite come off then you can go back in with a paintbrush just to neaten everything up however if you'd like to leave it like it was just for like added texture then that's absolutely fine it's completely up to you so this is pretty much the end of my tutorial here i hope you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it make sure to check out all my social links i'll leave links in the description below and make sure to subscribe for weekly art videos every sunday and i'll see you later Bye bye